Hello everyone and welcome to my new exciting tutorial. So today we will talk about Redshift material only. I will show you very simple uh, modeling and then I will show you how to make advanced tutorial, advanced Redshift setup of materials. We will talk about ambient occlusion, bump, uh, some how to make uh, scratches, uh, iterations and any any different things for metal so if you are ready let's start we are in cinema 4d and first of all i will change uh, settings for my render i will go to render and change to redshift then I'll go to Redshift and disable force for IPR. Also, I reduce a samples. I will use a two and two only. On the system, I will change a bucket for spiral, like this. Okay, and now I will make a very simple modeling. So I will go inside, create some some cylinder and make a very very simple modeling just a moment okay like this so i will do some mechanical object i don't know something like on my photo in before first of all uh, send to editable object and then go to polygonal uh, selection tools to be sure that only visible selection then select here right click and extrude push and extrude hold left mouse button and extrude after that take this blue one and put somewhere here then again hold and extrude uh, if you like to change uh, size you have to hold counter on your keyboard counter you will have like this and then drag somewhere back maybe maybe somewhere here okay again left mouse hold and put inside extrude inner uh, counter on your keyboard and push somewhere here maybe a little bit like this again forward again little bit left mouse extrude again push back sorry extrude too much and maybe like this okay this is enough what i will do next again polygonal selection uh, i will use a tool which is loop selection if you haven't like this you can find somewhere here uh, is will be will be will be okay loop selection hold right click and bevel inside in the bevel first of all take out groups we no need this oh my god it's too much okay i will reduce it will be maybe maybe zero point okay for a moment zero and size i will use maybe only one centimeter no one centimeter is too much like this and 0 0.5 okay you see yeah and subdivision if you adjust uh, apply some subdivision you will have like this very nice what we will do now, we are going to backside of this object. Again, selection, connect, right click, extrude inner, hold left mouse, push somewhere here, inside, left mouse, counter on your keyboard now, somewhere inside, left mouse, counter okay looks like not so bad very very strange figure uh, then i go to edge selection and again 
uh, no, not not this I will go to loop path cut or light right click and loop path cut then I will do like this very small somewhere here and here and maybe two will be on the back side and maybe somewhere here like this polygon selection loop selection and select three of them right click extrude now we will use extrude and hold left mouse and put somewhere inside or outside or inside how you like i like to put inside maybe like here very good what we will do now i will add one more cylinder i will make some very small cylinder maybe only five centimeters small size push somewhere here maybe three centi oh, three centimeters will be nice I think also like this size, only 16, no, maybe less, 15 centimeters. What we will do now, send it to editable object, selection, and we will do something together, two sides. Hold shift on your keyboard and select front and back sides. Right click, exclude inner, push somewhere here. Okay. You see, yes, it is from both sides. Uh, what you will do now? Change this tool and make like this. It's coming together. It's scale tool, yeah? Again, right click, exclude, and left mouse. Very good. Go to scale, hold on your keyboard, contour. You will have like this and push inside maybe a little bit just like this very good right click exclude inner put somewhere here very nice scale tool contour on your keyboard push up and then use this uh, for y and x to reduce the size maybe make like this very good uh, what what I will do also in the middle I will go to H tool cut and make maybe somewhere here and here and also here and here very good and I will apply I go to H selection and I will apply also bevel for, th for this region. I go to bevel. Uh, don't forget to take out this pressers group and change it, I don't know, maybe, maybe 0 0.3. Check it, no, it's coming on inside. 0 0.2, whoa, no, 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 0 0.2. Okay, yes, very nice, 0 0.2 maybe 0 0.25 okay very good very good and i think extrusion 0 0.5 is too much i will reduce also maybe 0 0.2 just little bit very nice okay uh it is done it is done send back to my object and go to the right view i have like this what i will do now take spline just normal spline pen and put somewhere here here inside and somewhere here very good uh, just small adjust maybe a little bit here and little bit here then push this button go to selection select one point right click and chamfer make like this then again selection this point right click chamfer and make like this approximately uh, then we have to give some shape for this uh, spline we are going to sweep we are going put inside this uh, spline and we add some uh, shape i will use a circle 
very small size maybe 0.5 centimeter only and put inside to sweep between sweep and spline and what i have in present moment nothing because i think i need change a uh, yeah okay now i have i change a uh, plane of my spline and i have like this very good uh select this object uh push on your keyboard i alt j and you have null object and put this null object inside in the cloner like this very good uh cloner settings i will use a um, radial you see it's already coming and reduce the radius just until it's touch maybe a little bit more okay doc maybe maybe like this why not maybe like this okay and increase how many you need i don't know maybe i will use only only 10 pieces only 10 pieces very good so very interesting object and now i will work with material for this object uh, what i will do first of all i go to my cylinder this cylinder will uh, i will create one material and one more material and one more self-illumination material very good what i will do so uh, to my object where is it this is yeah i take out cloner and i go to polygon selection very good so inside to my object to all my object i will apply one of the material like this then i will go to uh, polygon selection loop tools select middle of them and apply second material you will have uh, to the cylinder apply two materials and one of them applied to selection as you can see here is selection polygon selection yeah okay very good uh, what i will do i will create one more material and i call it red shift will be red shift chrome this is will be chrome this is will be glass this is will be metal okay and for my sweep i will apply chrome later we will adjust our materials for my first object for this cylinder i will apply just standard metal but for front view i will apply my self-illumination material this is not uh, not necessary but it's up to you my design will be like this okay very good my object done my object done everything working and now we are going to make some i don't know some materials first of all i will show you how to create a chrome inside in the chrome we are going to edit shapes yeah okay i will show i will show you now how to set up a lights first of all we are going to dome light from dome light i will use uh, some hdr map and take out this map from background i no need it and then i will add some uh infinity light like this as you can see a uh, blue this is direction of this light so i will make somewhere from the top and somewhere from the my side to receive a nice illumination going to display and quick shading i don't need this light in my viewport absolutely okay uh redshift ip air i put somewhere here just little bit increase and start okay i have my object looks like very nice maybe a little bit change direction like this okay very good so chrome going inside to the chrome uh, chrome it's very easy to create it's standard redshift material first of all diffuse color push to zero we no need absolutely diffuse color you see it's coming black yes already it's full reflected but in the reflection in fresnel type you have to change a color and age tin like this and change to white standard white okay finish 
as you can see some chrome we already have quality it's not so good because as you remember uh, in the redshift settings in the ratio settings i make only two if i will increase for example like this you will have more better quality but it's calculated more longer in present moment i no need it absolutely because uh, all my materials will be very heavy for calculation for my computer i don't know which computer you have but be careful with this yeah okay this is done then we are going to the glass how to create glass in redshift also this is simple uh, redshift material uh, we are take out diffuse color. We no need it, and we apply refraction weights up to maximum. And I don't know I O R. We will use maybe 65 just to give more, more glassiness. As you can see, we already have glass. If you like to apply some color for this glass, you will use not diffuse color, you will use a color from the refraction. For example, I like to make a little bit blue, like this. And you see, it's coming very interesting, yeah? Okay, maybe for, for this tutorial, I will keep like this. I will keep like this, so I like it. Not in my, not like in my photo, but will be like this. Okay, and... Uh, Self-illumination material. Uh, what we have here? Color. We can change any color. I don't know. Maybe we will use also blue because my glass is blue and somewhere here will be blue. It's not so bad. We will keep like this. As you can see in this, in this area coming. And now we are going to very interesting setup of metal. So I will show you some additional possibility how to make it very very interesting okay uh, first of all I will take material blender now I will show you how to use it we will open and make like this apply this material blender to my materials and this color this material will be like a base material like this okay as you can see inside in material blender you can blend uh, one two three four five up to six up to six different materials how it's work now i will show you okay uh first of all i will set up my main material i going mm, no letter we will set up letter okay my main material i will take out full reflection in present moment i no need it and I will apply just black color. Okay, maybe, maybe just a little bit. Okay, like this. Then I will take one more material and I will give a green color. For what I needed, just for easy looking, what, what the change coming in my uh, viewport, yeah? Maybe like this, okay. Green material, I will apply like layer color number one and now i have applied some blend so uh first of all i will take a curvature 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 i think in english curvature maybe maybe like this maybe i have mistake i put somewhere here uh this um this node will find some edges or on your object so how it working take curvature take ramp connect it between and put this ramp inside color one blend color what we have as you can see now something change something change in the ramp don't forget to change the settings for alt not uvmf for alt this is very important and as you can see program automatically identified ages all ages and these edges can be indifferent and any colors which you like so uh if you haven't like this more probably you will have very big object and you have to increase a uh, radius here up to maximum yes maybe like this or decrease your uh, size of your object as you can see my uh, object have a very small size if i create a, some cube just for for reference 
I have how many cube? I have, I will use 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters. Okay, as you can see, my object approximately less than, less than 50 centimeters, less than 50 centimeters. So, uh, if you have like this, if you have like this object, you can use absolutely same value which I use it. If you have different, of course, you need to apply some change of curvature or ramp or like this. Okay, very nice. I will increase up to more, maybe somewhere here. Yeah, very good. Okay, keep like this. So, uh, how it's working? You have many settings, but what I like to use, this is uh, BS. If I decrease gain, it's like, uh, you, you see, yes, it's coming more, more coming, more. If I increase this, also will change some difference. So I will use 0 0.5, 0 0.5 in beginning, and maybe I will change some ramp. What ramp doing? Also, you can adjust by ramp. If you take this black one and put to the forward, you will have less, you see like this, just little bit. If you take white and put to the back, you will have more. I will use also somewhere on the middle, just standard, without any additional settings. Uh, for this, also we can use some noise. If you uh, apply some noise and apply to your uh, curvature, you have to apply to contrast, not to other thing, only to contrast and contrast value here you will have also some noise inside in the noise you can change any i don't know maybe turbulence maybe oh sorry close maybe fractal okay maybe i will use fractal yes uh, you can change a uh, size of this maybe apply 20 increase size i don't know decrease size it's up to you okay we will use like this so uh color one is done what I will do now, I will make a copy, select of them, push counter on your keyboard and put somewhere down, like this. Uh, this material will be red. I will apply like layer number two and this ramp I will apply like blend number two. Okay, what I have? Look, uh, inside in curvature we have two very interesting settings. In general, this is mod convex or concave. Concave. What is the different? If I use convex, it's mean all a, uh, uh, the program selected all edges outside. If I use concave, program selected all edges inside. As you can see, inside. This edges usually like a more dirty, yes? If from this edges paint going out, edges inside more dirty. Uh, I don't know. I think we can increase little bit. We are going to ramp. Maybe we will increase the size of this dirty area like this. We will put more, not so bad. And uh, I will make one more blend color, connect all of them. Hold counter, put down, and this is will be. I will use this as yellow color. Yellow just for easy identification. Uh, so I don't use any curvature, any ramp. I will use only noise. I will apply this color to the my color number three. And noise I will apply like a blend color number three. Okay, as you can see, coming some noise. But to make it more uh, like a more sharp, I will apply for this noise color correction. Put somewhere here, uh, noise inside, and then color correction to blend. Inside color color correction, I will full increase contrast, like this. And what I have, I have very interesting composition. So inside in the noise, I can change turbulence, I can change cell, or fractal, it's absolutely up to you, but I will use turbulence. So, and very interesting settings, which I like to show you. Uh, 
okay i think i will show a little bit later first we will set up our main material so now we ca easy can see various will be different colors and in this area we will apply different materials so my main material main material yes first of all i will use ambient occlusion take it and apply like a diffuse color inside in ambient occlusion or my bright color i will use a uh, maybe maybe green dark green like this okay you see coming metal inside i will use also roughness zero point maybe zero point two will be good very nice so additionally what i will use noise and 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 bump input okay very good noise apply to bump and bump apply to the overall bump input okay i have some noise i will change also to maybe fractal or maybe turbulence it's up to you and what i have i will first of all bump i will make a very small maybe 0 0.1 only i no need it sharp okay maybe less 0 0.05 okay like this and i take out a size so uh i will make only maybe one just little bit maybe two okay maybe five yeah like this you can see i have some bump it's looks like looks like not so bad yes if you don't like you cannot apply the bump it's absolutely up to you uh bump done color done what i will use now now we are going to make uh, these edges so for material i will use i take out a color i no need any color i go to reflection and i will make like a like a like a chrome but maybe little bit gray like a chrome but little bit gray maybe like this and i will use maybe 0.1 reflection will be just 0.1 and what is going on why it's not working oh maybe it's working i don't know now we will check if i increase more what i have i haven't nothing mm, just a moment we will check maybe problem if I have not take out the color. I will use a maybe not black, maybe white color, yeah. Okay. And I will increase a ramp. Okay, as you can see, something on the H, something coming, yeah. Oops, sorry, not here. we have ages and coming some i think i take out little bit bump i i don't like it yes just little bit maybe 0.2 only i will use just little bit and size i will increase up to maybe 10 okay like this so uh we are going to ramp curvature mm-hmm <laughs> i cannot see some metal it's very strange because it have to work okay yes you see yes sometimes you can you have to adjust by some ramps so i will use like like this somewhere like this and i will use for material maybe 0 0.6 okay like this yes it's paint going out paint going out and you have like this effects very good if you have uh, if you like you can adjust also our noise like this what will be inside inside will be not red inside i will use a uh, like a dirty color maybe black black one uh, maybe just take out reflection i no need inside reflection yes any reflection inside because this is dirty and and that's all nothing more i like it okay and we are going to last one this yellow points yes i will go also to material i will use a uh, roughness 0 
take out color this is will be like a chrome go to color ages take to white color and what I have I have some small spots which is like a metal but it it looks like not natural yeah looks like not natural how we can uh, mm, fix this problem I will show you some very interesting tricks with noise uh, we are going our last color which is with the small points go to noise and inside in coordinates we will increase little bit scale I mean if you decrease you have more these points yes and uh, nobody uses scale usually usually for example I am never use a scale but if I for example put here more and here just one and one I have like these scratches as you can see yes and if I will play with these scratches maybe 20 if I play with these scratches I have like long one yes uh, so now we will check I like to make it horizontal uh, vertical vertical for my tutorial will be nice okay like this you see very interesting scratches okay if here I will increase I will have more longer scratches maybe I will also decrease a size okay you see yes very looks like very very interesting maybe 0 0.1 0 0.1 is coming very small scratches okay maybe 0 0.5 you can play how you like it I don't know maybe just 30 maybe we will decrease a size like this okay not working okay I have one scratch very nice mm, maybe maybe two okay very nice and then I have to apply maybe two here okay more wide maybe five here no three yeah if I apply three here and one looks like very nice looks like very nice some scratches coming yes you can make it more and if I going to our color correction and decrease our contrast maybe 0 0.98 I have also like this very interesting area yeah you see okay maybe 98 I will keep 98 I like it very nice so uh, when everything done when you satisfied with your material it looks like very nice looks like very natural you are going and you will we, we already no need more IPR you're going to change a settings redshift basic and increase maybe like this maybe like this increase more take somewhere this area apply camera make a focus of this camera to somewhere front apply to cam camera a uh, redshift tag with enable bokeh and finally what we have to do finally finally we will add some text i will go to standard mograph mograph text i will decrease the size maybe it will be only two i will use a cinema 4d tutorial by sv middle and maybe 0 0.2 centimeters only where is my text now we have to find my text it should be somewhere here very good sorry now we will change like this and we will put this text in proper position i like to receive this text somewhere here okie dokes somewhere here increase put here very good uh, now go to text and apply band tool for this text band fit to parent and maybe just up oh, other side like this text change rotation very nice 
very nice and now we have text on the top of my object somewhere here so i will a little bit decrease the size maybe for one centimeter only to make it very small text like this and apply to this text by chrome material very nice so uh, almost done now we are start a render and check finally what we will have maybe i will increase speed is depend what speed we will have i will check now okay okay rendering finish as you can see in my computer i have four seconds for uh, four minutes 41 seconds uh, looks like very nice uh, if you are not satisfied you can all time change the direction of light uh, maybe take out a little bit uh, brightness of these areas yes just to make it more i don't know more, more like chrome yes and what i like to make now i just go again to change for 2 and point 0.2 change a little bit my light direction of my infinity light maybe like maybe like this to receive specular on my letter yeah maybe like like this and i will change also i will have here specular and also i will change uh, material I will use for outside edges this is color number one as you remember I will use less uh, brightness like a chrome like a chrome now we will check program will make automatic update hey come on where is light sometimes coming back but it doesn't matter yeah it's it's no any problem for this okay yeah you see now it's now it's working now it's working so uh, i'm satisfied only the problem with my text i don't know why why it's not give me some specular maybe i will put little bit outside just little bit maybe somewhere here change rotation okay like this from this area i have specular but from this area i haven't some nice specular but it doesn't matter for text we can apply just like fun like this looks like also not so bad will be like small small specular like here and render again close here put somewhere here increase size output render i will use high division render again so uh, we will check second result you will uh, choose what is more better this or next one and for your tutorials for your videos for your object you can apply a different uh i don't know different materials you will play with settings and maybe you will find some some what what you're more like now i increase the speed we will wait it and check what we have finally okay second render done almost same time you can see different i change only a direction of light i have nice specular nice shadow and i change a uh, softness of my this inside material yes on the edges here it's without reflection here it's with some small reflection uh it's up to you it's absolutely your choice i ah, also we change a uh, material for my letters yes but i think i forget some something i forget to use my camera i forget to use my camera and in this reason uh, i didn't receive very interesting and in, uh, effect like bokeh i didn't receive it so uh, i will change again like this and Okay, render completed as you can see 
last two times I forget to enable my camera bokeh, but now everything done, you have nice blur, you have nice reflection, and uh, I'm satisfied, I like it, I like it so much, I have some lights inside, and looks like very nice looks like very nice so if you like my tutorials please subscribe please share to your friends put like and see you next time goodbye friends